Hello, we're Heather, Carlin, Mike, and Franklin. We make up the Spring 2016 Capstone team for IBM. As a group, we've had a lot of fun learning about and working with Kubernetes this semester. Kubernetes is a container management system developed by Google. Our project was largely research-based, and the goal was to develop a proof of concept using Kubernetes, which included deploying and managing a cluster of containers. Kubernetes is relatively new and not quite production ready, so there are a lot of bugs and sore areas that IBM was looking to have someone investigate for them. By developing this proof of concept, we were able to document how to deploy the software to a set of computers to create a Kubernetes cluster. IBM wanted the perspective of first-time users on the difficulty of working with Kubernetes. They also wanted to know about any bugs or limitations in the software which we discovered and any fixes that we found for these. During this semester, we created our proof of concept, deployed Kubernetes, and even accomplished our stretch goal of automating the whole deployment process using Ansible. We were also able to look into how scaling works and how to dynamically scale a Kubernetes cluster, which is still a bit difficult to implement. We've made some really good progress and are quite proud of how it turned out. All of us really enjoyed working with IBM and getting some awesome experience during our capstone. We've collectively learned a lot about Linux, containers, Ansible, and the Kubernetes software, which will help us in our futures. If you're interested in learning more about Kubernetes, you can view some of our recommended reading suggestions on our wiki, which is linked in the description below. Thank you. So if you're still here, it's probably because you're watching the demo that's been going on in the background. Uh, what just finished there was an Ansible playbook deployment that just set up uh, Kubernetes on three of our nodes. You can see I'm looking at the process list on our first node here, cube4, and it kind of shows you some of the processes that are running. Um, kubectl is a binary that we use to interact with the cluster. Uh, it had the wrong permission, so I just had to change it with a change mod right there so we can actually execute it. Um, but you can see I start using kubectl here to start interacting with the cluster. So I get the nodes that are in a cluster. It's currently a two-node cluster. Pods are basically uh, groups of containers. Uh, we don't have any services or pods right now. Uh, there's just the one actual system API service that's now accessible externally because we brought up the cluster. Uh, so you can see me accessing that service via localhost right there. Um, we actually have a proxy server set up to route to each of our nodes that would uh, access the master nodes API server. But uh, so I start going to the proxy server here to check that out. But uh, yeah, so that's about it. That's a basic kind of uh, Kubernetes setup that we've developed. There's a lot more to it, but that's what we have to show you. Thanks.